that was a fun intro. Uh, let's get into it. Um, today we're going to learn how to do these sick film mats over your footage. And it's very easy to do. So let's get right into it. Today we're going to go into Photoshop or your photo editor of choice. And we're going to create this. This is just a simple mat with a frame. So what uh, we got to do first is do a new document. And I'm going to do 1920 by 1080p. And the first thing we're going to do is create a new layer. And then I'm going to make a selection for my border width. I want it about like this. Doesn't have to be exact. This is all subjective to what you like and look. So we made a selection. I'm going to inverse that selection. And I'm going to pick my paintbrush and paint it and that wasn't too bad was it now i'm going to deselect this and i'm going to select my layer which is already selected we're going to add some noise to the edges so it doesn't look so robotic and filter stylize wind now you see these rips it's going to create in the frame that's exactly what i want create that and we're going to do it again now we have it on both sides and we're going to blur that gaussian blur just so it kind of doesn't look so new all right that'll work let's create a new layer and you can title your layers if you wish. So this is background. And this is grunge. We're gonna add some grunge to the corners and the edges. That's close enough. So to add grunge, we're gonna take our paintbrush. We're gonna pick a splatter type paintbrush. And that's under special effects brushes. Kyle's splatter brush should be in your Photoshop. I have not added anything to this Photoshop. Whoops, you see that? Get a little grunge there. Now we're gonna squirt some in the corners here. Doesn't have to be exact. This is all preference. Now we have these grunge added and we're going to take away some of that so we're going to take our eraser and make it bigger and stronger this is kind of uh emulating a a dirty projector and this is only a way this isn't the way so you can play it around with your looks the way you wish and there now for our grunge you guessed it blur gaussian blur we're really crank that blur up like so we got our grunge we got our background and now we need some film text if you ever seen film it has a bunch of numbers and the name of the film usually on the sides. So we're going to create our own. And we'll go to type tool. And we'll type uh, Bradley Media. Because we're branding. And we're going to rotate. Hold shift to snap to 90. And then we're going to move. Now you see it's too big, right? We're, well, what we're going to do is rasterize this. Oh, where is it? Rasterize type. And then we can go to edit, transform scale. Make it cool. Oops, wrong layer. And again. Seriously, what is going on here? 
No. There we go. Now you see how it's snapping when I try to move it? Hold control and you can get precise movements. That'll look good. I'll create another text layer. We're gonna add uh, some numbers. What should we make this? Let's just say, oh, 45 millimeter. That'd be neat. Okay. We're gonna rotate that again, holding shift, go to 90, and we'll move this. Like so, I'm gonna resize that image. So I made this yellow text because we're going to, when we add this, everything white is gonna disappear and everything black is gonna show up. So this yellow is gonna be like a, like if you looked at a film layer, it has a yellowish a tint through it on the side. So that's what this is gonna emulate. It's gonna be see-through and it's gonna be yellow also. So we did that, we did that. Let's group these texts together. Okay. Now one last step I'm gonna do is gonna add an adjustment letter, adjustment layer, brightness. We're gonna crank this brightness up. Uh, another thing we can do for the text, it looks pretty crisp. Select my text, blur, Gaussian blur. That's way too much, that looks nice. And the media part, select blur, Gaussian blur. That looks beautiful. Now we have our frame. Now I'm going to export, quick export as PNG. And I'll title this frame one. Save. Now to get a, a little bit of movement, there's a number of ways you can do this. Uh, we could do it in our video editing program, or we can just make new frames. And to do that, we would take our text, move it a little bit, holding control. And you see it just moved just a little bit. And then we'll export that. Frame two, save. And we'll take our text again the group that's probably way too much just, just a just a touch export frame three now we're gonna do something crazy and move the background just a smidgen just a smidgen Like that, but you see, we got a big old white line right there and we need to paint that out. Paintbrush this time. Okay. God dang it. And we did it. Select, deselect and export frame four. Let's just do, uh, we'll do one more. Move that text. Move, control, bam, like that. Export, frame five. We got our frames. We're all done with Adobe. Now in DaVinci Resolve, we are going to make a new timeline, media pool, uh, let's add some footage. I got some epic drone footage here. We got all our frames right here. And all you need to do is drag and drop on top of your footage. Any video editor with blending options can make this happen. Look how cool that looks. Now we're gonna, we're gonna zoom way in. These tick marks are frames got let's go three frames then we'll add frame two frame three frame four and frame five frames we're gonna select them all hold alt drag 
select them all, hold Alt, drag. Select them all again, Alt, drag. Look how quick it is to repeat that. You can do a number of things. You can make a compound clip like this, create. Now it's all one clip. And we moved uh, quite a bit on our text, but that's okay. It's a cool, it's a cool look. So we go to blending mode, multiply, like that. Now we got a little jittery film mat around our footage, but it doesn't look like film yet. So we're going to do a few things. We're not even going to touch fusion today. Not even going to look at it. We're going to go to edit. We're going to go to effects. And first, let's do a little flicker for like a projector would have. Flicker addition. Drop that on. Effects. Uh, range is the amount of flicker. We don't want that much. We just want a tish. We want a little faster and a little smoother. We just play around with how is that? How does that look? A little slow. Speed it up. A little much. Oh, that's too much. If it's way too much, you can go to blend and blend that down. Just a touch. Just a touch of flicker. Okay, got that. Now we're going to go to film damage. Now it looks like film. A little yellow though, isn't it? I'm going to tilt that up. We're going to take some of that blur off there. Uh, temp shift. We don't need it that yellow. It's already looking like film. And now we'll go to the color page. Select our track. Bring our gain down. Highlights down even more. Shadows up. I'm also going to take some of the blacks out so it kind of looks like a faded picture. That looks nifty. We're going to put some blues in the shadow to look like film. A little much. Magenta in the highlights. Like so. We're going to add a new node. Film grain. Grain only. Look at the grain. 16 mil. We'll go to 3500. We'll just play around with the texture and stuff. A little grainy. We got dust and scratches. We got a little flicker and a little bit of movement out of our mat. What else could we do? We could do one more thing. Let's do add a node holation on there. Now what holation is, is the emulation of the film look through the light, through all the highlights. Holation showing up on the house. We'll turn that off, on, off, on. It's a little much right now. We're going to turn it down a little. A little glow action. We got grain already. View glow alone. You can see it in the image. Just a touch. Maybe you can't see it on YouTube, but I can see it. It looks amazing. There we go. Free film mats. If you guys want me to put a pack together for you to download, leave me a comment and I'll get it done someday. Bye-bye.